lucky in that so far we're still driving mm. and so we don't have to rely on buses mm. but relying on buses you waste of time i live just outside of the village there's no bus stop my rung up hospital transport don't take you if you can get into a car they told me to Ring dial a ride, dial a ride out to the start in this area to nine o'clock and the appointment was at half past eight at South Mead. I called a taxi, they're again an early appointment. At half past seven, female taxi turned up. She charged less actually than the other bloke. The bloke who brought me home wanted £30 and I said no, I only paid £27 this morning. So I paid £27. <laughs> so that really was £54 yeah. Yeah. for both ways. To go to Fromage to Porton, it cost 15 quid each way. Whereas the community car only cost 9 quid for, for both ways. If you're just on a the pension, mm. you, you can't do it, can you? No. If you? And they don't seem to care at the hospital, like, they just make these appointments, oh, you've got to come then, 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 and, well, it's, mm. I can't see how people can afford to do it. The True Magnus scheme is very good, but of course they're needing a lot more volunteer drivers. Um, I've used it to go into Bath twice when my family haven't been able to take and they've been very good. Well, they're the only thing what you can rely on if you haven't got buses. Because they're pretty reliable. If you get stuck for appointments, they're always on hand to get you there on time. <laughs>